hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor home aesthetics mixing high and low with new and old and in today's video we're gonna be doing some nightstand styling with a little bit of tips and tricks so if this is something you are interested in watching just keep on watching. Now, if you are just clicking on my video, I typically do lots of these different styling videos to just kind of spread some inspiration to you guys. Now, it has been about over two years since I have done a nightstand styling video. Since then, I have updated my space. My style has definitely evolved since then. So I just wanted to put together a new and updated video on styling your nightstand. I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips and tricks about four to five different styles. That way it can give you guys some inspiration if this is an area you are just needing some guidance. Nightstands can be kind of fun and they can also be rather hard to style. So hopefully you guys get some inspiration from today's video, but let's get into it. So some specs for you guys before we get started in today's styles. My nightstand is 40 inches in width and then I have a really beautiful oversized lamp from Crate and Barrel. The nightstand is from Restoration Hardware and my bedroom is on the rather large size. So when it came to finding nightstands, I needed something that had a good size width to it. The average nightstand is about 26 to 32 inches, so that is why I went with Restoration Hardware is because they do offer that really oversized size. Everything in today's video, I will do my best to link down below as well as some really fun dupe options. So if you like the style, but you want to save a little bit of money, be sure to check the description box. But let's get into the very first style. I'm gonna be adding this really fun picture stand, you guys. I have sold this out. I will try my best to link it because this has become a very popular item and I've tried to source it other places because I originally got this on Amazon. It's completely sold out. Like I said, I will do my best to try to find either something similar or the stand at an alternative website. So I had this stand and then I had this really fun artwork piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think this is a beautiful landscaping artwork for, I think I paid $20 for it or like 15 bucks super inexpensive, but I'm bringing this in to add warmth and I'm bringing color. Now I like the stand because it's gonna bring some height and it's going to play nicely with the lamp to the left of it. So the second item I'm gonna be bringing in are two home decor coffee table books. I'm bringing in Curie and Pacific Natural Home. Now, if you are not one that loves home decor, you could also do these as far as like reading books. So if you are one that really loves to read, you could have these next to your nightstand as a nice alternative. So we're just gonna place those to the left of the artwork. So the last and final item I'm gonna be adding to this style right there on top of the coffee table books. I have this really beautiful decorative box that I got from a company called Modern Wear Market. I have discussed her website and her store on my channel before. It's by a really fun owner, small business named Danny. I am an affiliate, so I will link my discount code below if you wanna check out some of her home decor, but I saw this on her website and I had to have it. Now, as a tip for you guys, this is my husband's side and our husbands have stuff. They have gadgets and gadgets and wires and all sorts of cords. This is a really easy way to kind of hide those items while still keeping that nightstand nice and clean, crisp, and aesthetic looking so this is a really fun option for your husband's nightstand side so we're just gonna place this right on top of the coffee table books Style number two, we are going to be starting with two coffee table books. This is a book that I got from Home Goods recently, Travel Home, and then Style. This is one of my favorites. It is so, so me, so edgy. I love everything about this coffee table book. So we're gonna start with two, and then we're gonna use two bookends. The bookends, I'm gonna be bringing in our uh, old, these are from Target, these are just a nice marble. So we're bringing in some luxe material, but we're gonna have these standing on an upright. So the second item I'm gonna be bringing to this nightstand style is a really fun, fresh bouquet of flowers. I have been getting into bringing fresh flowers into my bedroom on a weekly basis. Typically when I do them, I will do just for kind of the downstairs, an area that we are in more, but. I've noticed I really enjoy having some fresh flowers on my nightstand. We're gonna be adding this really fun bouquet to this style, but then I'm also going to show you an alternative with faux stems, that way if you are not one that brings you know fresh flowers into your bedroom, which is okay, I'm gonna show you an alternative using faux ones. So we're gonna set this to the right of the lamp. 
Now the last and final decor item that we're gonna be adding to this style is a picture of my girls. Now I think your nightstand is an area in which you can have some personalization. I know there are a lot of people that are against gallery walls. They don't like having family pictures all over their house, which is totally fine and that is completely up to each individual person. But I think the bedroom is where you can really bring these different decorative items, a little bit more personalization. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is just a picture of my girls from last Christmas holiday cards and so we're just going to place this right in front of that arrangement. So for style number three we're going to be starting with some coffee table books. I have Tom Ford 002 and then I have portraits of home disc interiors. I think these are really beautiful because they are contrasting colors. We have white with a beautiful green one on top. As a side note to you guys, when you are styling different surfaces, whether that's a sideboard, a console table, your nightstands, pay attention to your colors. So I always like to bring contrasting colors to you know different surfaces so obviously i have a little bit of a darker nightstand so i think bringing a lighter color coffee table book is just going to add that depth that contrast that we need when it comes to styling our nightstand so we're going to just place this to the right of the lamp the next item we are adding is this really beautiful kind of green blown vase i got this in a set of three on amazon a while ago and i just love it because it's bringing in that color i think color is really important especially within my space i have a lot of contrasting between browns blacks whites so bringing in that kind of neutral color which is our green plays a really huge factor when it comes to styling so we're just going to place this on top of the books. The next thing we're gonna be adding is of course some greenery to that green vase behind me. These are just a really inexpensive bundle that I found on Amazon. We're just gonna bring that texture, that color, and that height that nightstands typically need when it comes to styling. So we're just gonna pop that right in the vase. The last and final element of this style are adding two really fun marble ruffle dishes. You guys are probably sick and tired of seeing these, but I love styling with these. They have so many endless possibilities. I've used these for soap, I use these as pinch dishes, and so I thought these would be really cool to add to a nightstand as a way to house like your jewelry. So if you are one that maybe takes off your rings at the end of the night, or maybe you take off your necklaces, these are a really great way in order to house them so they don't get lost. So I have a six inch marble dish, and then I also have this, I think this is a three inch. So just pairing them side by side right there on the nightstand. This could be used for again rings and bracelets, but I just thought these were fun. They add luxe material, they're marble, movement and shape, and so let's add them to my nightstand. style I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different we're gonna be starting with an oversized piece of artwork we're gonna be putting it in a vertical orientation to kind of elongate the nightstand bringing our eyes upwards a lot of people will do this with mirrors kind of bringing your eyes up making it seem like this is a really tall area so I'm gonna start with this really beautiful piece of artwork that I got from my sister's shop this is actually the same artist that I got my powder bath artwork from I just love it because obviously I'm trying to bring a lot more of those earthier tones, your browns, blacks, greens. So this is just a really stunning piece. It is large, as you guys can see next to me. We bring it up close. It's kind of like a tapestry type piece of artwork. And so we're just going to place this on the right side of the lamp, kind of behind. The next decor item, of course, has to be our coffee table book. So I'm actually bringing in two different ones. I'm trying to kind of mix it up for you guys so you can see different styles. I'm bringing in Rural Retreats. This is a beautiful coffee table book. The green color is really gonna play nicely with the artwork behind it. it. Has a really nice neutral spine there. And then, of course, I have to bring in something that has to do with horses. This is a beautiful book called Horses of Iceland. I do have Horses of Cumberland too. It's just the photography in these books are stunning. So I also love that it's a very earthy tone uh, cover, which is great, plays nicely with my home decor and home decor style. So I'm gonna be placing these just right in front of that artwork. 
So the final and last item we're going to be adding to this nightstand style is of course our greenery, but I went with something a little bit different this time around. I went with something more low profile, something that wasn't so dramatic. And so I brought this really fun faux succulent plant in. I love the color of this because again, it's going to tie in with all the other greens within this style. It's low profile. It's not going to take away the attention from the artwork, which is our main focus. So we're just gonna be adding this really fun little faux succulent plant right next to the books. Now for me, this style would be complete because I don't want a lot going on with my nightstands, but if you wanted, you could add a tray on top of that coffee table book to maybe be a drop station for your wallet, your keys. If you put your jewelry on and off, maybe your cell phone to charge on. So again, if you wanted to add a tray to this style, you absolutely could, but this is the fourth style. final style I'm definitely doing a little bit more for this one I try to appease both the people that love a little bit more of a simple look and those that like a more is more look so we're gonna be starting with the lamp in the center I have changed the orientation so we're gonna have decor on both sides of for this last and final style and for the first element we're gonna be bringing in that style coffee table book and we're just gonna be placing it on the left hand side of our lamp so the next item we're gonna be adding to this nightstand style is this really beautiful travertine pedestal bowl that I recently picked up in my home goods month of June best of, and this is just a stunning piece. I bought it for $35, I love the color. It's definitely more of that organic feel. We are bringing in that natural stone element. And one thing cool about a pedestal bowl, it's gonna give it that height, kind of height variation when it comes to styling your nightstand. So that's just gonna go right on top of the coffee table book. The next item I'm gonna be bringing in is this really beautiful Minka pot from Anthropology. This is in the small size, and then I have paired in it some Amazon stems. These are a ficus. I love these, they look extremely realistic. You can pair them with a lot of stems, or you can have a really nice minimal look as well. We're gonna place this on the right-hand side of the lamp. The last and final item we're gonna be adding to this style is a really fun handled terracotta dish with a burning candle in the center of it. We're just gonna place that right in front of the Minka pot, adding some texture, adding some dimension, different heights for this last and final style. All right guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video of my updated nightstand styling video. Everything will be linked down below by style, so if there is something you saw in today's video, be sure to check the description box down below. But until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.